Hello, Daphne here with a video for you. This one's called The Most Amusing Museums That I Have Found Anywhere in the World. So th that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. And we're going to start off in Cancun, Mexico, where there is a museum that features 500 sculptures and all of the sculptures are 30 feet below the surface of the water. So that's an interesting museum. I guess you'd have to learn how to scuba dive or snorkel in order to view, to view those important artifacts. Moving on to China, this is a really original idea for a museum. How about the Beijing Tap Water Museum of China? Oh my goodness, that's such an important category. The, the Beijing Museum of Tap Water is built on the original on the original place of the first water plant in Beijing. Oh, that is just so noteworthy, don't you think? Inside the museum, there are 130 objects, 110 picture, pictures, 40 models and sand tables on displays reflecting the 90-year history of Beijing's tap water. Mm. Wow, that's a biggie. Moving on to the United States, we have the Museum of Bad Art. I absolutely love this museum. It doesn't actually have a physical location, but they're looking for one. So if you have a suggestion, they're located in Boston, please give them a call. But anyway, I love the tagline for this museum, which is, Art so bad, it's good. And when you look at some of the renderings there, I think you'll agree with me. There's some really bad art that's very, very good. Okay, now this is, this is another really important museum that there must be throngs of people running to see this one. The Dog Collar Museum in England. A unique collection of historic and fascinating dog collars. Over the years, it has become known to be the largest display of dog collars anywhere in the world. Now that is just so incredible, don't you think? Hmm. Another featured museum of the unusual type in England is the Lawnmower Museum. It is a museum dedicated to the history of lawnmowers, an award-winning, unique museum of over 300 rare restored exhibits of the garden machinery variety. You better I'll rush on over there and see those. Now, if there was ever an unusual museum, this has to be on top of the list, although a lot on this list should be on the top of the list. This is the Avanos Hair Museum in Turkey. Yep, a hair museum. It's no surprise that one of the world's weirdest museums is made entirely of hair. A cave-like room is filled with hair, or more specifically, locks of hair from more than 16,000 women. Yep, you heard that right. 16,000 women from all around the world. Alongside the hair samples are notes with their names and contact information. So if you're somebody who wants a person of the opposite sex based on strictly what their hair looks and feels like, then you better get yourself on over to Turkey to the Avanos Hair Museum without delay. Then we come to the Bread Museum in Germany. This museum houses 16,000 artifacts related to the history of bread. And believe it or not, there is not a single slice of fresh bread in the entire museum. 
6,000 pieces of written work are there about bread are there for you if you'd like to read them. It also features an impressive collection of pieces, including a work by Picasso. Hmm, that's interesting. And also the equipment and that you, was, is used to make bread. The museum, the museum contains the largest known collection revolving around bread's cultural history. That's got to be such a fascinating museum. Wow, got to remember when I'm in England to go see that one. Now, the last one is by far the most, I don't know, it's, it's so amusing. It's just how there could possibly be a museum like this is beyond me. Well, there are two that are coming up, but this one is the first one. The Salaba International Museum of Toilets, of all things. This unique, very unique, and I'm sure very popular museum, that I'm saying tongue-in-cheek, is located in Delhi, India. It is run by Sulaba International, dedicated to the global history of sanitation and toilets. According to Time magazine, the museum is one of the weirdest museums among the 10 museums around the world that are anything but mundane. So that is, it amuses me no end that somebody could even have thought of coming up with a toilet museum. But I sort of feel that way about a lot of the entries on this list. Now, this very last one, I don't know how in the world this one ever came to be, would be interesting. And I don't know the answer to that question. But this is a museum located in Reykjavik, Iceland. It's the Phaeological Museum. In July of 2011, the museum obtained its very first important male, quote unquote, member, one of many promised by would be donors. Its detachment from the donor's body did not go according to plan, and it was reduced to a grayish brown, shriveled mass that was picked pickled in a jar of four formalin. The museum continues its search for a younger and better and bigger one. Now that, to me, is an incredibly amusing museum. And I, I don't have any more information on how many exhibits there are in that museum, but I'll try and do some research and get back to you. But my goodness gracious, there are certainly a an amazing number of uh, museums in the world that are of questionable value, shall we say, but nonetheless very amusing. And I had fun bringing you this important video to point out at least a few of them.